Magnesis is the concierge platform that connects millennials with new people, products, and services. We do this three ways. Through the Magnesis card, community, and mobile concierge. The black metal Magnesis card works as a membership card, payment tool, and identifier for members. Cardholders actually link up their real debit and credit card and use their Magnesis card every day for regular purchases. The backbone of Magnesis is then the community and network of members. We connect ambitious millennials from every industry on and offline. First, through our online members panel. Then, through our weekly Thursday evening events. And finally, through our member-only spaces where we encourage members to meet on a daily basis. We then leverage the great network and brand that we've built through our card and community to offer a mobile concierge where we provide real-time recommendations and experiences. This makes Magnesis your personal connector, and we can enhance every lifestyle decision, even at scale. Welcome to today's Power Pitch, everybody. I'm Mandy Dvuria. You just saw Billy's pitch. Now, let's meet the panel. On set with us here is Nikhil Kalgati, a partner at Vast Ventures. That's an early-stage venture fund which invests in nearly 50 consumer and mobile startups. Angel investor Alicia Surrett is a board member of the New York Angels. She advises and invests in over two dozen startups. And also joining us from the Bay Area is Patrick Chung, founding partner of X fund a venture firm targeting early stage investments so hello everybody and Billy you're in the hot seat would you like to throw out the first question Nikhil to get to a hundred thousand members would be about 25 million bucks in revenue sure can you take us through the process to get to a hundred thousand members so we're 20 months in and we just eclipsed 10,000 members across New York City and Washington DC we actually added a thousand members and grew by over 10 percent in the past seven days it takes us two years to get to three million dollars in revenue per market so as we expand to 12 cities over the next 12 months, we'll get to your revenue targets and hopefully exceed it. Alicia, what are the main legal risks that yeah. you feel the business faces? The biggest legal advantage for us is that we don't have to take any of the credit risk. All the transactions flow through the bank and our members' original credit cards, and we're just the brand and network that lives on top. So you're saying that you don't see yourself as having any legal risks? So our biggest legal risk is that we're standing in the way of a credit card company and taking away their branding on the card, and that really plays into our favor. Patrick, a question to you. What is the major social insight that you have that makes your company different? I'm a software entrepreneur by background, and I've built companies online that have connected different industries. And it became very clear there was a need to do this offline, and particularly with the most valuable demographic, which is a young, urban, working millennial. So I sat at the subsect of technology, entertainment, fashion, and finance, and realized if someone could bring all these industries together, that's the millennial desires, and that's what they're trying to seek out. So, Billy, I read a GQ article which likened the company to the worst thing of all time. Is all press good press, or was GQ wrong? <laughs> so, that article is definitely hard to read, but the overall story and momentum that we've been able to take advantage of from the press has been really huge for our company. It's helped us open up our second market very quickly. It's helped us attract large international partners like Tesla, Samsung, Uber, and IAC. Patrick. Can you walk us through the unit economics of, a, of an individual user? So they pay $250 a year, and then how much do you pay to hold these events that they become uh, um, a part of? So our entire costs are $70 a year to satisfy each user and all of their events and all the regular partnerships. We also make money from advertising fees, which is really important to note. You're bringing together young, I've been to some of the events, attractive people. <laughs> is this also a dating site? So our biggest challenge is how can we get our members ahead, both professionally and socially? So whether you're looking for the next job and relying on your network or looking for a girlfriend or a boyfriend, that all does happen through Magnesis. Patrick, last question to you. Is there a conflict of interest between pushing sponsored events from your sponsors who pay you money and actually finding the best things that you believe millennials want to do? It all comes down to engagement. How many members can we touch and how much value can we add? So if we satisfy the question that this is the best offering we can do right now at this given second, we'll do it regardless of sponsorship or organic partnership. Okay, we all heard what Billy had to say. Now we need to know if the panel is in or out. Nikhil. You know, I was a skeptic at first, uh, but after realizing the incredible growth that you're growing right now and the profitability on a unit economic basis, uh, I'm in. Okay, Alicia. <laughs> I am concerned a little bit about the reputational risks. I think that they have great backers and hopefully their gravitas will get them through it. It's still early, too, and I want to see that it's more than just a fad. So, unfortunately, for right now, I'm out. Okay. So, Patrick, you are the deciding vote. Well, Billy, I think you're targeting a, a relatively plastic audience here, um, but with a product that really delivers them cachet, and they're going to want to max out their credit cards to get that. If you can make the unit economics work, which it sounds like you have, um, when you turn this card over, I think you'll not only have an exclusive club, 
but also a diamond that decks the competition and that keeps your customer's interest sky high. So I'm in. Okay, so majority rules. You got uh, two ins, one out. What's your reaction, Billy? Well, thanks for having me, and uh, hopefully we'll grow a lot faster than expected and prove everybody else wrong. Okay, thank you very much to Billy of Magnesis and also to our panelists, Nikhil, Alicia, and Patrick, and that is today's Power Pitch.